However, the only person who knows where the Jabberwock dwells is the Dark Knight, a foul traitor who turned on Queen Gwendolyn. Hey guys, and welcome back to the Wizard 101 walkthrough series. Today we are on the 162nd episode. We're continuing on our way to find out where in the actual places the, the, the sort of kings. Uh, couldn't think of a word there. Right, we need to talk to Nolan here. Freyr Nor Nolan. Nolan. Ah, you've raised your standing in the world, haven't you, brave armager? To restore the hanging stones, you'll need the hearts of a Jabberwock. Not the actual heart, of course, but magic rubies he swallowed. However, the only person who knows where the Jabberwock dwells is the Dark Knight, a foul traitor who turned on Queen Gwendolyn. Defeat the Dark Knight at his estate in Upper Care Leon, and learn how to find and battle the Jabberwock. Snick a snack. Alright, so the Jabberwock is from, um, I'm guessing it's from there, from mythology, but the only other place I've ever heard of one is in Alice in Wonderland. The remake that came out in, what, 2014, something like that, 2012? No, 13, 14, something like that, it's been a while. Don't really remember when, but yeah, it's about it. it's, it's where the Jabberwock. Pretty, very interesting. Very interesting. Yeah. Well, the Dark Knight. We're gonna have to go fight him. And there is something out there in the darkness. Something terrifying. Something that will not stop me. Okay. Well, he is death. I mean, his name was kind of a giveaway, dead giveaway there, that he was gonna be a death-based mob. This is Minion uh, Storm. Where is my... There they are. Sure. Alright, let's do this. So, starting off with the boss straight away today should be fun. Okay, well, not a single... Not a single converter over there, or any... Defensive magic. Great. Just great. Well, looks like we're gonna use Wraith on the little guy there to take him out. I have not gotten my new gear yet. Um, it's gonna take a bit of time to get it. Well, not that long, actually. Should maybe have it tomorrow? We'll see. And this is a crit block. No, oh, I didn't get the block, which was, but whatever. Whatever. That sucks right there. Hmm. Okay, well, he's setting up. That's not always not ever good when a storm sets up. I uh, will use that. Hmm. I guess I might as well start hurting him. Well, this is actually gonna be a very annoying fight to do. Very annoying. Any friends? No one's online tonight. Wraith. Wraith, 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 you're using my tech, man. My tech is being used, and it's another crit. What is up with this? Seriously? Dual crits? That's kind of ridiculous. And this battle music is way too loud. Not a fan. It's kind of... Actually, I can turn, turn it up again. For you guys. I'll turn it down in my headset. Headphones off. Well... Great, now he's a universal resistance. A bubble. Do I want to do this? I need to use both of these if I want to take him out with in one hit. I wish I had Vaughn's monster, but the converters kind of clog up on my deck. Stormzilla, here we go. Okay. Well, this is gonna hurt. This is going to hurt. Man, the last time we fought, yesterday's episode when we fought a boss, it's pretty easy. Pretty easy, just a long fight. This is actually hard. They laying down the hurt on me. Mm, I need this up. And then I, I'm gonna have to use Wraith this, this turn right now. Vampire. 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 I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Because he's copying my tech right now, which I'm not happy with. He didn't do too much. 
Please don't use another Zilla. Okay, good, you fizzle. Thank you. Ooh, we got a Vons monster, do I? It's gonna do more, even without the boost. I have to use Vons monster here. This might actually just kill him. He does have the 15 resist, but we have Pierce. I don't know if Pierce works on that. On bubbles. I think it does. Um, I think it does on Fortify. Don't remember. Really do not remember. Yeah, it does. Cool. Well, he's almost done. This is gonna give us a nice chunk of health back. Which is quite needed here. Okay, good. He fizzled again. Wow, this guy's bad. Right, I need this up now because he is gonna use something big. If it is a Triton, that's just gonna blow. But at least we have the power shield up, which is very needed. Alright. I'm fine with his boss. He's just using wasting his own spell. Okay, the Leviathan. Well this I was not hoping to get hit by one. Very powerful single target hit spell. Mm, one of the strongest. And it's just gonna slam us with his tail. Great. Okay. I'm really happy I had a converter up. It does get rid of two of your uh, positive buffs that you have. Ooh, that's pretty good. Hmm. It's not really good in this fight. I guess I just have to set up on the boss while I wait to take this guy out. Yeah, this is, this is gonna be a bit annoying. Alright, I'm gonna keep this. Just in case if he does use another ninja pig so I can get get over it that way. That wouldn't be too bad. Okay, what is this? This is himself. How much damage is he gonna do? He costs... Yeah, four, right? Four power pips. So five pips to use himself, or three pips, something like that. Alright. We could. No, I can't. Alright, we're taking him out. Just because I don't want to deal with him. He has no me and minions. I've always been a big fan of taking the minion out first. And it's a crit. Sweetness. This is gonna heal us for. Really good amount too, which is nice. Gonna get, put us above 2,000. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. We're 1,075 health off being max. I don't need, I wanna use this. You know, I'm just gonna use this because I know he's gonna hit me. He's gonna hit me this turn anyways with something. So we, may, we might as well just use it. He fizzled. All right, I'm fine with that. Ooh, per beautiful. Power shield up here, and it's gonna absorb a lot of the damage from the thing on us, which is nice. Sorry if you guys can hear my neighbor's dog. Uh, okay, this is why we save the blade. This is the exact moment. I actually was trying to get a. a um, there's a pet that you can hatch with that gives you this card, and I was trying to get it today, but I couldn't find anyone that had one. Uh, to hatch with. If you any of you do have one, uh, it's like a ninja turtle pet. It's pretty cool. Uh, if you guys do, please let me know. I'm more. I really, really like to hatch for one. All right, we're gonna we're gonna wait a bit before we use the blade though, just because I need a 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 set up a bit more. There we go. This is what I wanted. Hmm. We're gonna do this. Just because we can get the one we can get May cast off, two will be a more powerful blade hit on him, which I'm all about. I missed how many pips it costs again. I think it's three. Okay, I don't need you. I am gonna use this down just because we're good here, and I'm not too worried about him using any more ninja picks for a little bit. 
he does? Well, ah, uh, shoot, I totally forgot about the faint, but whatever. It's fine. Make a yes, weapon cast. It's been a while since we've seen a rock star here. Goodbye. Alright, this isn't gonna kill him. This will do a decent amount of damage to him. Okay, what is he doing? Okay, well that's not cool. I do keep this, I keep this. Alright, I might as well start just setting up on him again. I kind of wish we had the one that does life damage. I think there's a, a weapon cast one that does life damage also. There's another ninja pig. Alright, we have another blade, which is fine. Because it would be really good for us when we convert convert them, and it will use the, the uh, blade on them, which would be sweet. Or the, not the blade, the... What's it called? The, the trap. There we go. Alright. Okay, okay, okay. We do this. We are gonna need to heal in a little bit. Pierced. Cool, cool. That's nice. Pretty good. May weapon cast? No. Okay. Well, that kind of sucks. We have the accuracy drop, which is pretty good. Previously, I, I, for some reason, I thought in the last episode this was a uh, damage drop, but it's an accuracy drop, which is still amazing to have on him. We have two blades, we have two traps, and a converter up. We should be good here to hit him for a fair bit of, amount, a fair bit of damage with this. And we also have this, just in case if he uses any shenanigans and tries to uh, shield himself. It's kind of why I chose this, uh, this amulet for myself to use because of one, tower shields, cursed tower shields that we always get plagued with, and then any other shields that like life shield, uh, death shield that I can steal, which are pretty nice. Crit! Crits are real today, and we got the pierce off, and it's converted to life, which boosts, and that is almost a one shot of 10,800 damage. 5,400 health back. Look at that sweet damage. How much health is he on? Thousand. All right, we can we can we can do some shenanigans down here. Let's do this. I should have probably used the reduction of accuracy instead. Yeah, probably should have. I wonder if there's a tapestry in here. Ah, right, well, if we finally found our enfeebles. I'm too worried about anything. I will do this on him. I don't want him to hit me with anything. Please tell me I have some more damage spells in my deck. Wow, it actually went through. I'm very surprised. And very annoyed. That was a 55 reduction. Too bad that the um, health reduction uh, little blade on him doesn't get rocked with that. Alright, this should be GG. I think it'll take him out. I'm pretty sure this will take him out without any problems. Yeah, I think it will. I'm just thinking about it. If he has a decent amount of resistance, we, we do have a trap on him, so this should be game. So this was a very annoying fight, actually. Pierced. Goodbye. Okay, nope, not yet. I did about half. Almost, almost enough. Almost half. Alright, well, we need to start... I guess I just have to do a converter on him because it's gonna be very annoying to deal with him. I should have used a tower shield first. Because he's gonna just heal now, probably. No, he uses ninja pigs. Of course he does. Well, this is annoying. This is very annoying and frustrating. Okay. Boost. I don't need that right now. I'm gonna use Enfeeble, might as well. I really thought that would actually take him out. I guess he has a decent amount of resistance. Did he have a bubble? Yeah, he had a bubble up also. He had a fortify. 
which he just recast. Okay, um... We got an extra turn, right? Wait, this will give us seven pips, we need nine to cast him. Yeah, well, we're gonna get rid of the weakness on us. Probably could have just used Deer Knight and took him out, but whatever. We're better safe than sorry at this point. Because he has been dealing a bit of damage to us. Well, it looks like we're gonna fight the Jabberwocky in the next episode. If this hadn't taken this long to do, uh, we would have fought him in this episode. Alright. Really? You know what? I'm just using this. This will take him out. This is game. It's game because of the blade. I wish when it converts it would pop back and use the other blade that we had, but whatever. It, I mean, it would make sense if it used a life blade when it gets converted to a life spell. All creatures feel fear. Please don't hurt me. You got a new deck? Meet me outside this place of my defeat, and I'll tell you what you need to know. You got a new deck, boys and girls. I might actually use this one. Let's... I'm gonna have to do some deck alterations before the next episode. Might as well lock this. I'll keep it for the time being. It's nice having an extra deck for different occasions. Now that I have three decks, I might make a single target. Uh, hit deck for myself and a AOE hit deck Which is, well, right now my deck is kind of a mix between both See? I just give it a gem. He's got a moon. Okay, that was a little bit of a lag spike there Interesting all right all right tell us what we need to know you need to find the mangsome jabberwock Yes, we do the Jabberwock lairs in a hidden forest den on the high road near the shrine to loyalty. As you get close, you'll hear its terrible whiffling and burbling. But show no fear. After it breathes its fire, strike hard. Take the hearts of the Jabberwock to the shrine to loyalty in the face of gloom, melancholy, angst, bitterness, and snark. Once you've purified the hearts of the Jabberwock at the shrine, take them back to that blasted friar Nolan. Well, at least he helped us. I guess he has some honor left in him. So, yeah, well, we know how to get to the Jabberwock now. We might as I think we'll go there while we wrap up this episode, and we'll call it there. Tomorrow there will be two videos going up. One video is going to be on how t because people ask me this so often. This is a pretty sweet little pet. I really like those pets. Which one is this? Is this the ice one? I think this might be the ice one. No, just the regular one. There's a death one that I would really love to have. It's really cool. Um, as I was saying, so many people ask me, how have I gotten my Deer Knight so early in my previous videos that I decided to just make a, a video on it for anyone that wants to know how to get the Deer Knight and how to get certain other spells for other schools. Because I do want this character to have a life spell that I picked up right on this one, or is it Storm? It's Storm. We have Queen Calypso on this character. We also have um, Hephaestus. Uh, what else do we have? Any other spells? Of course, we have the legendary Deer Knight that's made this playthrough a bit easier for us. And yeah, Queen Calypso. So I will make a video on as to how to get those spells and a few other ones so that people know just how to do it. Uh, it's, it's, yeah. It's not so much of a problem for me answering people all the time. It's more of a, uh, it just be easier for people to know how to get one of, because I'm guessing there's no videos out anywhere how to get Deer Knight and how to get all kinds of spells earlier that you would be normally getting in Avalon. And this is where the Jabberwock is. You gyre on by a grove of tum-tum trees into the Jabberwock's lair. You hear some whiffling and burbling up ahead. Alrighty, so next time around, guys, we're gonna fight the Jabberwock and get his hearts. Actually, yeah, I wanna, yeah, we'll do that next time. Anyways, guys, that's it. Two videos tomorrow. 
one of them will be how to get spells, and then one of them will be the legendary Jamberwonk fight where we steal his hearts by cutting his belly open and getting his guts to spill everywhere. Anywho, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button down below and ring a ding ding that sweet, cute little bell. And as always, guys, I'll see you guys next time for more Wizard 101. Alrighty, uh, bye guys!